In .NET 7, we can now have nullable page models and view models in Razor Pages and MVC. Let's see us in action in the, this 10 minute training video. Now for most of my training, I work to give you an in-depth perspective on technology, but sometimes you just need to get the quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created the 10 minute training series. So let's dive right into the code. And in this code, I already have set up a .NET 7 version of ASP.NET Core MVC. Now, this is a pretty standard template. I have made a couple of tweaks to it that I'm going to show you. First off, in the home controller, I've added a new endpoint here, a new um, action that is to do. And I've created a list of string that is to do's. I've instantiated it and passed in three values. I then pass that model to the view. The view has takes a model of list of string and it just has an unordered list of each of the items on there. Let's just run this just to see it in action so you know how it works in the old way. This is the way it used to work. And I did add this to do a uh, link at the top to make it easier. And let's uh, zoom in here. So there's my to-do list. So we have to-do, take out the garbage, wash the dishes, and mow the lawn. But what if we wanted this list to be able to be null? Now, does it make sense versus an empty list? I'm not sure. That's not the point. The point is that we can do this and there are certain circumstances where it will be valuable. So how do you make this a nullable list? Well, this is now something new in .NET 7 and it's as simple as just saying, hey, it's nullable. That's it. Now it's gonna yell at us and say, hey, you know what? Um, this may be null here. And that'd be a problem if it was null for a for each, but no problem, we can do this. Let's cut it out first. We'll do an at if, if our model is null, then let's uh, put a paragraph here that says, you have no to do items, but else, and then we'll, we will paste back in our code. So if it's null, we're going to say, hey, you have no to-do items. But if it's not null, then go ahead and list out the to-dos. Now, this is different than empty list. All right. Just to be clear here. If you have an empty list, meaning you instantiate it, but don't put any values in it, it will still say that it's not null. Therefore, it's going to loop through this zero times. But if it's null, it's going to say you have no to-do items. Let's modify our values here. Let's comment out all four of these lines. Notice that this top line here instantiates the to-do list. If we comment this out, now it's going to be a null list. And it's going to say, hey, that's a problem because we're saying list of string here, but it really should be a nullable list of string. And then that should work. Now, this is going to be um, updated once we rebuild because it still thinks that the, the view takes a, a list, not a list of string, not a nullable list of string. But once we run this, use of unassigned local variable to do's, um, well, that's because I didn't say equals null. There we go. Now let's try this and launch it. And now if we go to our to-do list, we have no to-do items. This is a new feature in both Razor Pages and MVC. It's a small little thing, but it's an important thing. The idea that maybe your model isn't always going to be instantiated. Maybe it's being null for some reason, in which case you can now handle that properly and allow it to happen on that view. So again, Razor Pages and MVC. So Razor Pages would be a page model, whereas this is a view model. Either way, they can now be null. It's a tiny little feature, but again, I'm interested to hear how you're going to use this, if it's something that you've been looking for, or if it's a, a thing to put in a toolbox, but you don't know when you're going to use it next. Let me know down, down in the description or in the uh, comments what your thoughts are. If you want this source code, you can go ahead and grab it from the link in the description. And thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.